I firmly believe that if community pharmacies became more proactive online, we could cause a shift in healthcare. We could change the behaviour of potential consumers, which would then lead to the use of more pharmacy services. We now live in a digital world where more and more people look for information online before they conduct their activities. Imagine if a person searched for a term on Google and the first thing that came up was your pharmacy. We may just be able to influence that person's decision to use our services. I believe one way in which we can achieve this is through blogging. Blogging is a powerful form of content marketing that anybody can do, but there seems to be a huge deficiency in its application in community pharmacy. Time and time again have I come across a pharmacy website that has a blog or news section on there that looks like this. It's a real shame because one, it looks unprofessional, and two, it's a place where you may be able to impact the people in your catchment area, improving their access to healthcare while winning more business in the process. Let me explain how. Let's say you're an independent pharmacy contractor in Southampton that offers a flu vaccination service. If a consumer would like to get a flu vaccine, they may well log on to Google and type in the search term Flu Vaccination Southampton or Flu Jab Southampton. As it stands, both of these search terms result in a variety of options for the consumer, but I don't see a single independent contractor for at least the first four pages. And we all know that it's extremely rare that anyone visits even the second page of Google. Even though most independent pharmacies now offer a flu vaccination service, to that consumer, we simply do not exist. However, if you created a solid blog post that was optimized specifically for those keywords and which led to your services, the story could be different. Having a look at the content that currently exists out there, I believe it to be highly probable that an independent could position themselves somewhere close to the top of the rankings, increasing the likeliness of consumers using their flu jab service. And this is exactly what I've started doing with one of the chemists I'm working with. Like most pharmacies, they offer an emergency contraceptive service, and so a few weeks ago I began experimenting with some keywords on Google to see what kind of landscape I was dealing with. I found that a search term that people are looking for on Google is Morning After Pill Sheffield. At the time, as I expected, there was not a single service or article that directly led the consumer to an independent community pharmacy for at least the first three pages. So, what did I do? I created a simple blog post on the topic of emergency contraception, focusing on the keywords Morning After Pill Sheffield. Right now, only three weeks down the line, this blog post sits on the first page of Google at position three, and as I continue to promote the post across their social platforms every now and then, it's quite likely that it will top Google for that search term. Hopefully, this blog post may just influence more consumers to go and see their pharmacist to get the morning after pill. Can you imagine if every single independent contractor started blogging for search terms associated with their business in their locality? We'd end up dominating the Google rankings and that is no exaggeration. I've just shown you how easily it can be done. All it would take is one optimized blog post a month per pharmacy and we might be able to direct hundreds if not thousands more people towards pharmacy services. If you want to start blogging or you'd like me to take a look at a blog post that you've already created to see how it might be improved, then please get in touch, I'd love to help. Please share this video with your colleagues because together we can make community pharmacy stronger.